Hello lovelies, in this video we're going to look at the Rome Festival of Lupercalia for your GCSE in Classical Civilization. So we're going to take you through all the important bits to go with this, but if you need a little bit of help remembering everything, then over on the website there's a set of free questions and a set of free flashcards to really help you revise. Festivals in Ancient Greece and Rome Although the Greeks and Romans divided their year into 12 months, they did not organise their weeks into seven days, nor did they recognise the concept of a weekend. Instead, they incorporated rest days into their months by observing numerous holidays during which they attended games and participated in religious festivals. These festivals varied in duration, with some lasting only a day, while others spanned several days. In classical Athens, approximately 140 days of the year were dedicated to religious observances, festivals and entertainment, while in Rome, around 159 days were allocated to such festivities. Lupercalia Lupercalia was an ancient Roman festival celebrated annually on February the 15th. It was a pastoral festival associated with fertility, purification and the protection of livestock. Lupercalia's origins are often traced back to pre-Roman times, possibly originating as a pastoral festival among shepherds. Over time, it became assimilated into Roman culture and was associated with the legendary founders of Rome, Romulus, who had also had the title King of Shepherds when Rome was first founded. Officials, the Lupercai. The central figures in Lupercalia were the Lupercai, a group of priests dedicated to the god Lupercus, often identified with the Roman god Faunus or the Greek god Pan. The Lupercai were members of two specific Roman colleges, the Lupercai Quintales and the Lupercai Fabiani. The Lupercai were responsible for conducting the rituals and ceremonies of Lupercalia. They were often young noblemen and had to undergo specific rites, including sacrificing a dog and a goat. Events. Sacrifice at the Lupercal Cave. The Lupercai would gather at the Lupercal Cave on the Palatine Hill, believed to be the location where the she-wolf had nursed Romulus and Remus. Here there was an altar for offerings and sacrifices. At the Cave of Lupercai, goats and dogs were offered as sacrifices to Lupercus. These animals, known for their virility, were chosen for this fertility ritual. The animals were sprinkled with mola salsa, and once they bowed their heads, indicating acceptance, they were slaughtered. A knife dipped in the blood was then used to mark the participants' foreheads. The blood was wiped off with wool soaked in milk. A haruspex examined the sacrificed animals' entrails, and if the signs were positive, the celebration included feasting on the sacrificial meat and drinking. After the feast, the Lupercai cut the animals' skin into strips called febra for use in a running ritual. Events run around the Palatine Hill. The Lupercai took strips of the skin of the sacrificial animals, the febra, and ran with them for one circuit of the Palatine Hill. Roman men would join in the Lupercalia by also running through the streets of Rome with strips of animal skin using them to hit people on their way. Being hit by one of these strips as part of the Lupercalia was believed to improve fertility and childbirth. Ouch! This is why in some videos I explain scratches. <laughs> 